What's good, everybody? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. You know, B. Simone has, you know, been in this, uh, you know, like podcast space the last one or two years. Of course, she was on Wild and Out. And, you know, B. Simone. She's one of those people that will say almost anything for attention. Not that talented, in my honest opinion. Maybe a little nice, but I mean, you know, B. 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 Simone has a lot of different things she says. I think just to go viral. As a value creator of content, that's not B. Simone. B. Simone flip-flops a lot. Like, again, she'll say anything to go viral, which is what I think this is pretty much about, right? And she went viral for saying that she doesn't shower every day like she showers every four days or something like that. I want to play a a clip of that particular uh, episode and then we'll come back. I know you, so. (laughs) What do I do that's nasty, Sarah? I'm not going to say that. What? Don't shower every day? Uh, I don't shower every day. I don't think a lot. I don't think a lot of women shower every day. Is that nasty? Mm Mm-hmm. Do you, is that a normal thing for women, though, right? <laughs> it's like, At least like two days. Out of the week? Uh, no, no, I'm saying like you, you, can, you can miss two days. I mean, yeah. Like if it's max, a Monday. Yeah, I'm not going not out, three, four days. Yeah, yeah, unless yeah. I'm like thugging it. You'll, you'll take like, a shower on Wednesday. But what was you thugging it? Like. If you take a shower on Monday, when's the next time you're taking a shower? Wednesday. At least by, no, Thursday morning. So two full days. So three Monday, days. Tuesday. Oh, Wednesday. That was a Wednesday. But I mean, a Thursday probably has happened. Like Monday morning, <laughs> then Wednesday the afternoon. Yeah. Or like if we're super busy, I'd rather sleep than shower. All right. So then B. Simone released this clip from the shower. And of course, she was doing um, her, her roasting and everything. And, <laughs> and then we'll come back and talk about this. Uh, it's been two days already. Yeah, my last shower was maybe Sunday before church. I'm not. Sure. I don't know. I, I get in when I when I start itching. I don't know. That's how I test if I need one or not. Same time next week. Meet me here. Mm-hmm. As that. I was washing my hair. I already washed my body. Leave me alone now. Don't drop the phone trying to be funny. Shut up. Hey, y'all. It's like ain't nobody so fast me. I ain't just so fresh. Ooh, Woo! So, guys, you heard what, what she had to say. Now, obviously, B. Simone is like, a lot of untalented social media entrepreneurs in today's world, they're trying to get people to go to their website and buy things. Um, you know, everybody's trying to go the the Kim Kardashian route, selling to their audience stuff. I mean, you see guys doing it in the manosphere with these, you know, dusty courses. I'm looking at you, Donovan Sharp. I mean, so we, we, we understand what happens with that, right? This is something that's not new. And I, I, I think that B. Simone actually does shower daily i don't think that she i think it's, it's, it's basically something to say that to go live b simone said that in order to pretty much get some attention to get people to go to her uh dusty website b simone beauty and buy stuff and i mean again all the stuff that these, that these ladies who are entrepreneurs that are in the entertainment world they sell these are shitty products in my honest opinion okay i'm not a woman or anything but Mostly everybody is trying to sell leggings, um, you know, makeup or something. And I mean, it's the same thing that everybody else is saying. There's nothing that's really good about this entrepreneurship. It's trash, in my honest opinion. All right. That's just me saying it. Okay. You're just trying to get people to buy stuff from you. But here's what I do think. I believe this. I believe 
that there are a lot of ladies out there who say that they are clean and that they're not. Now, let me just say this. Um, as a guy, I think everybody can have their bad days, right? Um, men understand that. But now, when you go to clubs, just you see ladies dancing sometimes. What do you see? A lot of hun- unhygienic things going on. Let's talk about the weaves. When that sweat hits the weave, it's an experience of a lifetime. What about women taking off their shoes, dancing barefooted on dirty floors? Anybody you've ever seen that? I mean, you can it, it can be anywhere. A lot of times, black women tend to have a lot of the same proclivities anywhere in the world. So women in America, black, African women, they, they dance the same for the most part. There's not a whole lot of there's a lot of sexual sexual you know stuff going on booty bouncing and taking off shoes. Not everybody does it, but a lot of ladies do it. A lot of ladies take off shoes, come in and come into like they have, they have like sandals in their purse and stuff like that. And then when you see the bottom of their feet after they get through dancing, just look at it. Walk by and smell it. How many of you guys ever had an experience? You know, you, you, you got this nice young lady. You're going to bring her to the house. You take off her, you know, you know, you, 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 you know, she gets, uh, you know, undressed and whoop, <laughs> hit you right in the nose, right? Yeah. Guys is still bad. I, I mean, but, but women though, and, and, and one of the most good looking girlfriends I ever had in my life, she was beautiful, but her breath, oh my God. I mean, it's going to be real. I think B. Simone is just trying to go viral. But this does tend to be a problem. Especially in places where it's hot and humid. Shout out to D.C. I used to live out there. So humid, you know, you got to be, you know, changing clothes like three or four times in Texas. Some places in the South. And it's not, and it's, and it's, and it's women of all sizes, you know. Hygiene can be a problem for, you know, let black men tell it. A lot of people, right? So let me let me let me just say this about B. Simone and other ladies, right? The the, the big issue here is here we go with another episode of women possibly requesting a lot of times what they are not. That seems to be a big issue, you know, and I, I'm just going to be real. It happens more, more or less than you want to believe. I'm, I'm trying to tell you it happens a lot. All right. You, you'd be surprised. For example, like a lot of the ladies that, um, I, I mean, let me just say this without, you know, getting canceled if you're not going to work on your attitude which that leaves a lot to be desired and having issues in your personal relationship with men like a lot of women don't know how to have anything really to offer a guy when it comes to emotional stability which is why you see so many un- unmarried women in today's world These guys don't get any value from it. And it usually they're probably right to stay single. Not saying that all, but most guys, you're not going to get something from, 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 from these relationships in today's world, simply because women have been raised to not do anything for a guy. They think they can do something for a guy. And then until you ask the guys and you find out that they, that they are not giving that. So what my thing is this, if you can't offer the traditional things, least you can start off with everything else. You know. And this is not all women, right? I'm just going to be real. But you'll, you'll, you'll notice like, and I noticed this over coronavirus. So many women came back, let's just say, a lot more healthier uh, in the weight department. Okay, it's going to be real. You saw women gaining uh, more weight, 40, 50, 100 pounds. And just imagine 
No increase in, you know, the other parts the guys are complaining about. So, a lot of guys are experiencing that. You know, a lot of things of these these Latino women, and certain black women, obviously, but Latino women, you know, they come home from work. Uh, they're they're dressing up for their guys. They're putting up perfume for them when they come home and things like that. This is this is this is you know, and I think if you're having this hygiene issue with certain ladies, it's because they don't feel like they need that look nice for a guy. So many women don't feel like they need to look nice nice for men. You you think it's like for example, you 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 having a discussion. This lady uh, uh, um, uh, gained a hundred pounds since COVID. Well, she looks good still. To who? I mean, she may have, but what I'm saying is you're not taking into consideration of what other people feel about how she looks, which is why women give a lot of bad advice to each other, which is why there's Galentine's Day for single women, women who don't get it. This is the reason why it exists. And then you want to say you want somebody that's rich, successful. I mean, like, we, are, we, are, we, are, we, are we joking around here? Are we being serious today? When, when are we going to be serious in 2022, 2023? And again, you got, a, you got a lot of women on point, but you have a lot of women like if you're lacking in one area, like, for example, Fantasia. Fantasia is not the most attractive woman in the world, but she for sure is one of the sexiest women I've ever seen in my life. Her sex appeal is on a point she keeps herself together hair's always done she always looks and dressed amazing that makes a lot of difference for a man but you have women like literally dragging their feet just slide slide hey, hey, look, where, look, just what is sexy about that you can hear them walking for like 30 miles away just shh, 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 like jason or something freddy cougar what's this don't even pick your feet up. What are you, a killer? Like, what's going on here? And, like, don't care. Like, I'm going to get a rich man. Really? Dragging the entire Antarctica as you walk with you. What? The, like, these are things that women need to be taught to appeal to the kind of men that they want. And you just don't see it. But guys, what do you think? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. Appreciate you for all that you do. Subscribe, hit the bell. I'm out.